Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In the previous videos, I have unboxed and tested the 2.5 Intel i225V Ethernet adapter and so far it has been working great with Windows and Ubuntu but it doesn't work with OpenWRT 21 stable release and one of our friends has shared an update that there was some problem with the new kernels and uh, Intel i225 IGC rivals only work with the kernel rival 5.15 um, sorry OpenWRT 22 the release candidate version had a fix for that so in this video let's test out this 2.5 gigabit ethernet adapter with OpenWRT 22 first of all let's go to downloads.openwrt.org and let's go to this uh, upcoming stable release this is OpenWRT 22.03 and download the firmware so right here 64 and I think for the test we can go with any image so let's go with the generic swashcompiles.img so after it has been downloaded let's write it to our USB write alright so it's OpenWRG 22.03 RC4 and let's go so for this video I'm going to use the HP T620 plus and right here we have the onboard Ethernet adapter just right here we can see that the cable is connected and I also have a gigabit Ethernet adapter connected or extended via this mini PCIe I'm not sure if you can see it let me put it in yep just right here this is the mini PCIe and then we have the Intel gigabit adapter all right and then this is my 2.5 gigabit network adapter this is the one from Intel i225V so let me close the lid and then let's connect the USB right so right now let's put up the system very good let's go to boot device options by press F9 and let's select the USB right Alright, so the system is up and running and we have some update that the Ethernet one link is up. So let's check out what is the network configuration. So let's run V E D C config and then network. So right now we can see that our LAN device, the bridge LAN is Ethernet 0 and our one interface is Ethernet 1 okay so I think we don't need to do any changes let's quick now I will connect my computer to the LAN port of this device okay all right let's see if the light up yes we can see that the LED blinking so this one is our LAN interface and it is Ethernet 0 and this one, the orange color right here the yellow actually, the one interface on the console we can see that the brick LAN interface is up and running that is good so now I'm going to switch back to my PC to configure the router so let's go to 192.16a dot one dot one and there no password so just log in let's give it a password let's update the package database because we already have a working internet connection so now let's search and install KMOD IGC which is the kernel module for Intel Ethernet Controllers i225 series 
install and it had been and that's it so if we go back to the console we will see some update uh, let's say right here we have the kmod lot the loading kernel module from this one and an intel 2.5 gigabit ethernet line node driver so we can see that um, the interface is up and running so 4.0 gigabit per second available pcie bandwidth and uh, yet we can see that the interface ethernet 2 right now let's go to network interfaces and then let's go to the device tab and modify the bridge LAN. and now i'm going to add my 2.5 gigabit ethernet adapter which is ethernet 2 to my LAN bridge hit ok and then save and apply so now i'm going to remove my pc from this gigabit ethernet adapter so as you can see this is the cat 7 cable and now let's connect it to the 2.5 gigabit ethernet adapter just right here all right let's go to the network internet settings and let's see the internet adapter so yep right here we can see that the link speed is 2.5 gigabit and this one is a Realtek 2.5 gigabit family controller so it is working now and let's install ipub3 to have a quick test meanwhile let's go to the terminal 192.168.1.1 accept root and my password so on my PC let's go to CMD and then let's go to ipub3 ipub3 dash s ipub3 dash c 192.168.1.1 20 very good we are running at 2.2 gigabit per second and so far we can see that the speed is the same across the test so it is very stable throughput let's do it but t40 and let's see All right, so this time we have 2.1 gigabit per second result, but it is not bad at all. So since we already running the throughput test, let's give a quick test for the one to line throughput of the HP T620P. So this is my open to RT router, the HP T620P and we have the LAN IP address of 192.168.1.1 and the one IP address is 192 let me see where is this 192.168.5.182 so my upstream router will be 192.168.1.1 and it is the Xiaomi CR60A routers so currently we can see that it has been up and running for 33 days so right here we have an IP of the Ubuntu running on the Raspberry Pi 4 192.168.5.210 let's copy that and let's do a quick IPUB3 actually this, this is open speed test So we can see that with the default firewall configurations on HP T620 Plus, it is running gigabit throughput without any problem. And you can see right here the firewall 
the short way of loading is still disabled and let's run another test so let me put top right here and let's refresh the page let's go so as you can see we are running at gigabit throughput with just 68 percent cpu idles or we can see that it is around 30 percent cpu lot let's do a quick ipub3 test and let's see how it is doing ipub3 s okay so this one is my open 2 machine running on the one side this is my hp t620 plus and this is my pc so let's run ipub3 dash c and then 192.16a.5.210 so as you can see we are running at 944 megabit per second with the cpu utilization is 40 percent or we can see that it is at 60 percent cpu idle so we can see that the HP T620 Plus is still doing a good job nowadays and uh, the 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapter is still working right it still keep up with the pace alright so this is all for this video and just to share with you that the Intel i225V Ethernet adapter is working with OpenWRT 22.03 RC4 and I hope that it should work great for future stable release and we can see that the kernel is 5.1 thanks for watching and see you all in the next video